All right, hey guys. Um, so this is just kind of going over what I talked about with you guys in class on Thursday about subtracting integers. So if you needed a refresher or if you weren't in class on Thursday and you needed a lesson since I'm not there today, um, here's the video for you. So we've already talked about how to add integers. We sang our song, same signs, add and keep, opposite, subtract. Take the sign of the larger number, then you'll be exact. So we know that when we're adding um, a positive and a negative, we're um, opposite signs, we're going to subtract them and take the sign of the number that is further from zero. So we're calling that the larger number. Remember, we did the little bunny ears, larger, because it's not always really larger. Like negative 5 is not larger than negative 2. Well, that's not a good example. Okay, negative 15 is not larger than 12, but it's further away from 0. So if we worked through these addition problems, 7 plus negative 3, okay, they're opposites, so we're going to subtract them. We get 4, and the number further from 0 is a positive, so we're, it's going to be a positive 4. Now, you don't have to write that positive there. I'm just writing it so that way I know that I double-checked my signs. Here I have a negative 5 plus a negative 2. Well, same signs, add and keep. So 5 plus 2 is 7, and they're both negatives. Okay. Then we have opposite signs again. Opposite signs we need to subtract. So 3 minus 1 is 2. The sign of the number that's further from 0, 1 is only one space, but negative 3 is 3 spaces. So we're going to make it a negative 2. Then we have 12 and 15. A negative 15. They're opposites, so again, we have to subtract. And which number is further from 0? 12 or negative 15? That's right, negative 15. So we're going to have a negative 3 for an answer. And we all know when we have a positive and a positive, it's again, it's the same sign, so we're just going to add it and keep. So it's a positive 5. All right, well, what does this have to do with subtracting? Well, let's just take a look. So I use the same numbers here as I did over here in subtracting. So I wanted to make a comparison with you guys. So in class today, I talked about, I didn't really give you a reason why I didn't use number lines. I just gave you a trick. I said I want you to circle the each number and the sign that's in front of it and then treat it like an adding problem. So if we did that, go ahead and use my colors here since I have them. I have 7, and I have a negative 3. If I treat it like an adding problem, it's 7 plus negative 3. Well, guess what? We did that in um, on the right-hand side already. So this is really like saying 7 plus negative 3, which is a positive 4. So, and we already knew that. We knew 7 minus 3 was 4, but I'm just trying to make a connection here for you. Okay, now let's take a look at the next one. Do the same thing. Circle the number and the sign in front of it. So we have a negative 5, and we have a negative 2. So we're at negative 5 on the number line, and then the negative tells me we're going to move left two more spaces. So now we're at, we are at negative 5, and then we move left two more spaces. Look at that. It's the same problem. We get negative 7. All right, but here comes the trick. Look at what we have here. Negative 3, and then I have a negative, negative 1. What does that mean to have a double negative? Well, have you ever been like a friend goes, do you like so-and-so? And you're like, well, I don't not like them. We used to use a double negative, so you're not saying that you don't like them, so you must be saying that you do. So two negatives kind of cancel out and make it a positive. So these two negatives kind of come together, their powers combine to make a positive. So these two lines come together to make a positive. So it's really like saying negative 3 plus 1. Look at that. We did that over here. We get negative 2. Okay, let's take a look at another one. We have 12, 
and we have a negative 15. So I'm at 12 on the number line. Oops, my shadow's in the way, sorry. We're at 12 on the number line, and then we're moving left in 15 spaces. So again, I have 12, and then I'm moving left 15 spaces. It's the same as that addition problem. So we get negative 3. All right, let's see what we get for this one. We have a 3, and then we have that double negative again. Well, just remember, double negatives, two negatives, combine together to make a plus sign. All right, it's kind of like we are going to the left, but then we're going back again. Every time you hit a negative sign, you change the direction that you're going on the number line. So I was at 3, then I was going to go down, but then I changed my mind and now I'm going up. So this is really like saying 3 plus 2, which equals 5. Notice how all of these were written as subtraction problems, okay? But after circling them, what I saw was that I'm really just adding. I'm taking them and adding them. Now here, if we ignore the subtraction sign, we had a 7. Try and block it. The shadow is blocking here. I had a 7. If I cover up that subtraction sign, let's see if I can do without a shadow. Not really. That was a 7 and a positive 3. But when I rewrote it, it was 7 plus negative 3. Again, if I cover up the subtraction sign, I had a negative 5 and a positive 2. But when I rewrote it, it was negative 5 plus a negative 2. Here, it was if I cover up this negative or subtraction sign, I had a negative 3 and a negative 1. But here, I changed it to adding a positive one. So take a look at we've got kind of a pattern going on. So instead of subtracting, I have a 12 and a positive 15. Well, here I have a 12 and a negative 15. So what can you notice? Well, subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. So that means, for example, if I had 10 minus 30, subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. So I'd keep the first number. I would change subtraction into adding, and the opposite of 30 is negative 30. So 10 plus negative 30, they're opposite signs, so we're going to subtract, and the number further from 0 is the 30, the negative 30, so my answer is negative 20. And instead of having to rewrite it every single time, we can just think of it as a 10 and a negative 30. We can just circle them and use our adding rules. The only trick that we have to watch out for are those double negatives. So let's take a look at the paper that we did, we did in class. For those of you that weren't here, you'll be able to do the, the, do the problems and take a look. Okay, so all of the directions are right here that we just went over. Circle the entire number with the sign in front of it. Then use your addition rules. Remember, your double negatives equal positive. So we already did 7 minus 3. Hopefully you don't need to circle that. But we get the idea. 7 and a negative 3. That's 4. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go down and do the odd side. Negative 3 and a double negative 4. Well, remember, those two negatives make a positive. So negative 3 plus 4, okay, if we want to rewrite that, negative 3 plus 4, they're opposite signs, so we're going to subtract them, and it's a positive 1. Negative 6, I'm at negative 6 on the number line, and I'm going to the left one more place. So now I'm at negative 7. I'm at 5 on the number line. I was going to go down, but then I changed my mind and went up. So again, watch out for that double negative. So it's really 5 plus 2, which is 7. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can finish up numbers 9, 11, 13, and 15. All right, take a look at number 9 and 11. How did you do? This was really like saying 3 plus negative 9, we get negative 6. 
7 double negative is means plus. Watch out for that. Now, I didn't solve 13 and 15 yet because there are more than one operation going on. So I wanted to make sure that you understood what we were doing here. All right, so you're, because it's adding subtracting, remember, follow order of operations, and we're going to work left to right. Okay, so we're going to ignore this plus 3 for right now, and we're going to worry just about 4 minus, so we have a 4, and we're going to do a double negative 2. So this is really 4 plus 2. Okay, so we went ahead and took care of that, and that is 6. Now we can bring back down the number that we haven't used yet, which is our plus 3. So 6 plus 3 is 9. Do you go, why don't you go ahead and try and pause the video and do number 15 on your own and check back in. Okay. Again, work left to right because it is adding or subtracting, so we're going to go left to right. I'm really sorry about this shadow. So I have a negative 20, and I'm going to circle all the signs in front of the next number. Remember, these parentheses are just showing you that we're um, making this a negative number. There's no number directly touching it, so it's not multiplying. So this is really negative 20. Double negative makes a positive. 10. So again, we're ignoring that plus 5 for right now, but we don't want to completely ignore it. Let's go ahead and answer this question. Negative 20 plus 10 is negative 10. Now let's bring down this guy. Negative 10 plus 5. All right. Same signs, add and keep. They're not the same. Opposites subtract. So we're going to subtract them. 10 minus 5 is 5. Take the sign of the larger number. The one further from 0 is negative 10. So my answer is negative 5. Go ahead and pause the video and do the even numbers and check back to see your answers. All right, let's see how you did. Number 2 is negative 2. 4 is negative 16. Number 6. Now I was trying to rewrite them to show you how I got them. Again, when you're circling them, you're identifying the number. Subtracting a subtraction sign and an addition sign are the same as the idea of calling a number a positive and a negative. So when I'm saying negative 9 minus 7, it's like the same as saying negative 9 and a negative 7. Right? So subtraction is the same as saying a negative as long as you're circling um, and including the sign with it. That's why when we got to watch out for those double negatives. Now let's take a look and see how you did with 14 and 16, which had more than one operation. Again, we want it to work left to right. I went here 5 minus 8. Well, again, 5 plus a negative 8 is a negative 3. I brought down the minus 7. I circled them both, and they were the same sign. So I added and kept the sign, and I got negative 10. Number 16, again, I work left to right, negative 10 minus 7. Well, that's like saying negative 10 and a negative 7, which is negative 17. I brought down the 3. I added those two together. They were opposites, so I subtracted and took the sign of the bigger number. And then I brought down my double negative 4. And I followed through and I got negative 10 there. So again, remember, subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. But the best way to kind of help you out is to circle the number and the sign in front of it and treat it like an addition problem. All right, I hope that helped you out and good luck with all your work um, that I left for you to today.